So this video is for how to set up conversion tracking for your business. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to track the submit lead form and how to actually track the cool extensions as well. Now, obviously, since you're watching this video, you clearly care a lot about your Google Ads campaign and you wanna make a ridiculous amount of profit with your Google Ads account. So if you did want all the secrets that I can't share for free on YouTube, there's a link in the description that takes you to my course, teaches you exactly how to set up and manage and optimize your Google Ads account so you can continuously get more and more profitable results for your business, as well as how to set up high-performing Facebook ads and automate 90% of your business. But without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So once you're in your ad account, you just wanna go over to goals and then conversions and then tap on summary. Now for me, as you can see, I already have some active conversion actions, but I'm actually just gonna remove these just so we can re-implement them so you can see exactly how to do it. But as you can see right now, it's a submit lead form on this page here. So I'm just gonna remove this. So now that I've removed that, I'm just gonna tap on create conversion action. So the two different types of conversions that we want is conversions on a website and conversions from phone calls as well. So right now, this isn't the website that I wanna do. So I'm just gonna tap on edit. I'm just gonna change this over now and tap on scan. So as you can see here, it says Google tag, not installed yet, set up. So tap on set up. So what we wanna do is literally just copy this Google tag here. And then we wanna go over to our website hoster. So if you're using Wix, WordPress, anything like that. For me personally, I use Go High Level. I find it's the best. It's how I automate half of my business as well. This is basically the same method with every website, but they're just in different locations. For Go High Level, you go down a site. So once you've tapped on your site, you just go to settings and then you just paste in the Google code in the head tracking code and then just go down and tap on save. And that's literally all you have to do to set up your Google tag. It's unbelievably easy, especially if you're using Go High Level. But for anyone who's not using Go High Level, it's literally just the same thing. Paste it immediately after the head element. Most new website builders like WordPress, Wix, and Squarespace all have areas that you can actually paste this very easily. So you might need to just look up how to find that on your particular website. But once you've done with that, just tap on test installation. Now it might not work off the bat because obviously it takes a little bit of time for your website to save and actually send traffic. But as you can see with mine, since I've been speaking so much, your Google tag was correctly detected on your website. Tap on confirm. As you can see, it's checking installation again. We don't really need to wait for this. As you know, it just gave us the confirmation. So now just tap on done. Now what we wanna do is tap on save and continue. And what we wanna measure is when somebody actually views our page. And now we're gonna add in the conversion action, which is the untitled tag. So the tag that we just put in the website, this is the one that we're tracking right now. So create a new conversion action, set up manually using code, we don't want to do this. It takes too long. We want to actually enter the URL where the conversion is completed. So where somebody ends up after they've finished converting on your page. So a typical conversion for just majority of businesses is filling out a form. So if you see on this, on this website here, when I tap clean my windows, it takes me directly to a form. Now I'm going to quickly fill out this form, but I want you to pay attention to this very top. So this is the end URL to my landing page right now. And obviously the section of it as well, which is the form section. So when we actually fill out the form, it's gonna take us to a new page, which is a thank you page that I've created. And we're tracking when people land on that page because they can only land there if they've converted on my website and completed my form. So let me just fill this out really quickly. I'm just gonna tap submit and remember to watch that top bit right here. So as you can see here, the end URL has changed to my thank you page. So we're just gonna copy this and we're just actually gonna tap on enter the URL where the conversion is completed. Page load, page starts with, I'm gonna change this to page contains and then just have it as the end of the URL. Now in conversion settings, I keep this as primary action and then you can change the conversion name if you want. You can add a value to it. So just say, so just say one out of four conversions always lead to a sale. So you can add an estimated amount of value to each person that is a lead. You can count everyone or just one, but personally, I just leave everything here and then tap on done and tap on save and continue. Now just tap on finish and bang, just like that, you've set up your conversion tracking for the page view. So just tap on troubleshoot if it says inactive. It's only inactive just cause Google hasn't really verified it yet, but sometimes you can tap on troubleshoot and actually manually get this activated right now. As you can see, it's now actually active and it's loaded up our website. So let me just quickly add in my details again to the form. Now I'm just gonna tap submit again and just watch this little bit down here. So now it's taking me to the thank you page. So as you can see, it's actually tracked it. So it's now got the little tick. So tap on finish. There you go. The conversion action is sending data to Google Ads. Now I'm just gonna close the tag assistant and bang, just like that, you've now verified your page view conversion when somebody submits one of your lead forms. Now for phone call leads, these are actually pretty easy to track. You just tap on create conversion action and we're gonna do conversions from phone calls. Just tap on save and continue. Tap on phone call lead when someone calls your business and expresses interest in your offering. Let's tap on that. 
tap this, calls from ads. So this is when somebody clicks your cool ad or cool asset that's on your actual Google ad. And then we also wanna add in calls from website visits. When someone calls a number shown on my website. So for me personally, I don't have a phone number on this demonstration website, just because personally, I find it a lot better when you have businesses that actually go directly through form so you can get all the details from them before you actually speak to them rather than going through phone calls and then trying to manually grab all their details. It's just a lot quicker. But if you do have a phone number on your website, all you gotta do is just grab the actual phone number. So just say I had a phone number up here. All you would do is just grab it here and then just copy and paste it in here in the example like this. And obviously you'd pick which country that you're in. So if you were in Australia like I am, so this is how it would be set up. Now in Australia, Victoria, all the numbers start with 04. So you'd set it up 04 like this in the brackets and then you just fill out the rest of your number like that. And then you just re-enter exactly how your phone number looks on the actual website. So if it was written just differently here, you just copy it and then just paste exactly what it looks like here. Then you would literally just tap on use this event. Now that's it guys, you're done with the conversion tracking. If you did wanna learn exactly how to optimize your Google Ads account and all the secrets that I can't share for free on YouTube, there's a link below this video, I'll teach you everything that I know.